John Oaks here with Hanksters Hot Rods and today we are in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location bringing to you folks out there our newest addition to our inventory and this is a 1987 Olds Cutlass 442. Now these cars as of late we've been getting an awful lot of them. They've been really popular um, so again here is another good example of one of these you know more kind of a more modern classic I guess you could say uh, out of the realms of the 60s and 70s more so in the 80s but still a nice uh, up-and-coming classic nonetheless ours as we see it sitting here again 87 it's done in the two-tone color scheme now this is actually considered a dark red metallic paint uh, that's what they called it on these Oldsmobiles I know it kind of looks more kind of like a plum color but that is the correct terminology for the paint, dark red metallic. Also the silver down below, so that is your two-tone color scheme. Separated by the gold 442 striping and the gold 44 decals that you see here on the doors. Um, now as far as the whole car itself, um, any bright work that's on this car, the wheels, the uh, moldings up around the drip rails, anything around the windows, windshield and so forth, that is all in really good shape on this car. Nice and shiny, there's no dents or dings in it, polished up really well. It all looks very good. Um, even the wheels, now these are the factory 15 inch Oldsmobile Cutlass Rally wheels. You can see these ones are painted gold uh, in the, the, uh, the spokes, um, just like they should be. Got the gold stripe around the outer perimeter of the wheel, and of course the 442 center caps on those as well. Now as far as uh, fitment uh, and finish on these panels, you can see the gaps to the front side and the back side of the doors, all very uniform. Now the back one may look on first, uh, on first sight here like it's a little tighter, but that's because they've got the black door edge molding on here to protect the paint on those doors. They also have this vinyl strip right down the side of the car here and that again is for protection purposes so that somebody else doesn't just open their door up and bang and put a big dent in the door it's all for a purpose and it looks good too far as the mirrors on our car these are the uh, color coded mirrors uh, these are what would have come factory on this car kind of like the bullet style mirrors so the mirror itself the housing is in great shape glass is in great shape too the glass in the side windows of this car too in great shape they are tinted no chips, no cracks whatsoever, so again, those all look very good. We are going to open our door up here. We will take a look on the inside and look at the interior now. It's got the uh, kind of like a burgundy interior in it. It is cloth, bucket seats up front. They are power seats too, by the way. Um, all of the upholstery is in good shape. The dash is in great shape. There's no cracks in the dash pad. Factory instrumentation in this car, all working factory heat and AC, factory radio with cassette player. Um, you can see it's got the tilt column and cruise control mechanism on the steering wheel as well. And the factory center console with the automatic floor shifter there for you as well. All the seat belts are present too on this car. This car also has power windows in it as well. Um, and I'm just checking it does have power door locks on it also so you've got all those modern comforts of the of, you know car with all the power accessories in it um, so that's pretty much the interior we'll take a look from the passenger side when we get there now as far as actually let me open this up again as far as the weather stripping and seals on this car too as you can see weather stripping up above here that is all in great shape. There's no tears, no cracks whatsoever. It's nice and soft the whole way around, so it's going to seal up really well from the outside elements. You should not have any leaks whatsoever with these windows up. Okay, door shut very nice and easy, nice and flush too. Again, elevations and uh, any body lines, those all line up on this car. Now, I already talked about the wheels. The tires are all BF Goodrich Radial TAs. These are all new tires. 215 65R15s is the size on those tires. Now, as far as the back of the car now, again, bumpers on this car, both front and rear, these are all painted. That's the way these cars were. No chrome bumpers on these cars. You can see your trunk lid. See the fit and finish on that, the gaps. 
elevations the whole way around on your trunk are very uniform and very nice on this car. You've got your rear glass here with the trim around it, all very nice too. It's got the rear defrost in it, got all your mechanism in here for that rear defrost, as well as the third brake light. Um, now down below here on our trunk lid, you've got the bright work here too, the molding that goes around the bottom edge of it. You've also got the 442 Oldsmobile decals on the trunk lid as well. Your tail lights, as far as the backup light lenses, those are in great shape. Lenses on your tail lights are in great shape too, along with your bezels. Um, all of that is in good condition. We will open up our trunk next, and we'll show you inside there. So we'll take a. There we go. We picked the right key right off the bat. So as you can see, the key works in the lock. As we raise that up. The door hinges and the spring, or I should say the trunk hinges and spring, all functioning as they should as it's holding that trunk lid up on its own. Underside of the trunk lid painted the same color as the exterior of the car. Again, it's got the bump stops on the trunk lid so it doesn't close too far. And your seals the whole way around your trunk lid too. Again, very nice, very soft, no cracks, no rips, no tears. These are going to seal up great from the outside elements. The trunk is in great shape too. Got a set of floor mats in here. Got a nice trunk mat in here too, conformed right to the trunk. It even has the spare tire in there along with your jack mounted over in the corner of the trunk there. So again, that's your trunk area. Everything in your, uh, like your rain gutters here and so forth on your trunk, all of that is in good shape. Metal is in great shape on this car. So we'll close this up, shuts nice and easy again. And as we come around the passenger side now, again, all the metal on this car, all the body on this car is nice and straight the whole way around on the car. Uh, again, we've mentioned about all of the bright work, that's all in great shape. Our gaps now on our passenger side, again, front to back, very uniform. Um, we will go ahead and look at the interior from this side now too. So again, cloth interior, but again, for the age of the car, it's worn very, very well. There's no rips, no tears. The carpeting is in great shape. Even your door, or, or I should say your uh, uh, seats here, you've got the panels all the way around as far as the back seat backs and the side covers. They even have the uh, bright work, uh, the edging on those, and that's all in great shape. And again, we've been over the gauges and all that stuff, so it's all factory stuff there. Close that, again, your glass on that passenger side is in great shape, mirrors in great shape. As we come around the uh, front of the car now, this is where we can talk a little bit more about this. Now, the popularity of these cars, um, you can see kind of in the later models of these, maybe so a little more uh, popular because uh, when it went to 87 they went to this more of a, like a Euro style headlight. So it's just your single you know, headlight here, highs and lows all contained right here. Um, your turn signals, your amber lenses, those are in great shape. Um, the grill areas on the front of the car, those are in great shape too. Again, with the 87 Olds, you just have the painted bumpers here, no chrome on there and everything looks well on those. Up above, you've got your uh, uh, element here, your emblem up on the header panel. All of your bright work down the center of that hood is in good condition too. You can see the gaps all the way around on that hood and elevations are all very nice too, as well as the windshield. No chips or cracks on that windshield either. That is all in good shape. So what we're gonna do next, I'm going to open up the hood. That way we can talk about the motor, the rest of the drive line, and uh, what all we see underneath here. So again, with an 87, your hood poppers on the inside. So we went ahead and did that. We're gonna raise this up. And you can see the hood pop works from the inside. The hood hinges and springs, those all function as they should too. Underside of the hood painted the same color as the exterior of the car. Underneath here in your engine compartment, of course, everything all blacked out, inner fenders and the cowl panel as they should be. And what you're looking at here for a motor is essentially the original numbers matching 307 cubic inch Oldsmobile motor that this car came with. Again, nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary here. You've got the chrome air cleaner lid on top 
Everything else is pretty much stock factory air conditioning unit on this car, all hooked up, all functioning too. Um, we do have power brakes on this car. It is disc brake up front, drum brakes out on the rear, complete with your emergency brake all hooked up too, and power steering on this car as well. Now behind this uh, engine for a transmission, it does retain the uh, 200 4R automatic transmission. And then for the rear end, it is the GM 10 bolt rear. Uh, it is a 373 gear in that unit. And it's the big 10 too. It's, uh, it's the eight and a half inch ring gear for this car. So good stout rear end. That should last you for quite some time. So that's pretty much it uh, for our 87 Olds uh, around the outside, interior, trunk, and under the hood. We're going to go ahead now get this on the lift for you. All right, so now that we are underneath our 1987 Olds Cutlass 442, we're going to go through, as we do with all of our vehicles, starting from front to back, and we're going to go through all of the drive line, the steering, suspension, frame, floors, exhaust, you name it. We're going to go over it here right now for you. Starting up front here with the suspension. This is all going to be your stock factory suspension for the old Cutlass 442. Got your stamp steel uh, control arms, both uppers and lowers. That's all factory original stuff there. Ball joints all look to be in good shape. Springs and shocks, those all look to be in good shape too, along with all the bushings at all of your mounting locations. Uh, as far as the rest of the suspension, it does uh, have the heavy duty front sway bar on it and the sway bar bushings both at the frame as well as at the sway bar end lengths. Those all look to be in good shape too. Steering on this car, it's power steering. Um, up front here you're gonna see uh, or not see as far as the camera angle goes, you're uh, steering your tie rods basically. All straight, all rubber dust boot covers are all on all of the ball joints and you can tell everything's been greased and maintained um, throughout its time here as a, as a cutlass. Now as far as the braking system on this car, again that is power brakes, but we have disc up front, of course drums out on the back. That would have been your factory setup for your brake system there. And again, nothing special up front. Any auto parts store you can go to, you can get the parts for the brakes, both front and rear, so no issues there. As far as the drive line, since we are underneath here, uh, this does retain the original Numbers Match 307 Oldsmobile motor. Behind that, we've got the 204R transmission, automatic transmission. It does have the flywheel cover here, and that's going to help keep dirt and debris away from that flywheel, prevent any kind of premature uh, failures that you might have out on the road with that. Um, as far as the rest of the drive line, uh, well, first of all, transmission pan as well as the oil pan on the motor free from any leaks or drips that I can see. Uh, same thing goes for the seal here where your drive shaft fits into that transmission. The slip yoke goes in there. That is all dry too. Transmission cross member here, that's in great condition as well as the tail shaft mount. That's all in good shape. Of course our drive shaft just like always, um, this is a balanced unit so that's going to help eliminate a lot of uh, vibration and so forth in your drive line. And then of course the rear end here. Now this is a 10 bolt GM rear end. It is the big 10 though, so it's an eight and a half inch ring gear, good stout rear end for in the car. Um, I believe the gear I think was like 373s, I think is where it was. Um, if that's not absolutely correct, it'll be in our description so you can look that up. It does have the rear sway bar on it as well. Rest of the suspension, again, is going to be factory original. Your metric four link uh, suspension back here. Um, like I said, the rear drum brakes and your emergency brake, all hooked up and functional. As far as the shocks go, this does have a set of air shocks back here on the rear. Easily adjustable just by adding uh, air to those. And that's simply done by just putting an air chuck to it, airing them up or airing them down, wherever you want. As far as wheels and tires on this car go, this has the factory original Olds rally wheels on it. They're the chrome steel wheels, five spoke design, gold painted spokes, and the 442 center caps on them, all 15 inch wheels. And then for tires, BF Goodrich radial TA tires, 215 65R15s uh, on all four corners of this car. 
far as the frame and floors, of course, the Cutlass is a full frame car. The frame on this car looks good, nice and square, nice and straight, all the way back through the entire length of the car. The floors, these are the original floors for this car, all of which are in good shape. I see no holes, no patching, um, nothing like that whatsoever. The floors look good. You can see all of the stamping marks in all the floors, so you know it's all the correct type metal. And then as we come back here to the trunk area, the underside of the trunk area, uh, of course, you've got the spare tire provision back here. You've got the fuel tank here, again, stock fuel tank, straps, all mounting hardware, that all looks good. The fuel lines and brake lines all run right along the frame rails here. Pinch welds and rockers all look good on this car too. And the only other thing would be the exhaust system on this car. Again, this is still done exactly the way it would have been from the factory. Of course, coming off of your exhaust manifolds, it comes into one uh, pipe here, comes to your single catalytic converter, then it wise off into dual exhaust. You do have dual mufflers back here, tailpipes obviously with the dual uh, tips on it, exiting right underneath your quarter panels with those chrome tips. That is pretty much it for the underside of our Cutlass. Uh, so we're going to go ahead now, lower this car down, uh, open the hood up and we'll fire the motor up that way you get to hear what the motor along with the exhaust all sound like. <laughs> 